Angel from Farms.com. I'm with Mark from Marcus Manufacturing. He is the leader for the Bale Baron that is behind us here. Uh, Mark, tell us a little bit about how the Bale Baron works and why someone would choose this for their hay operation rather than a pole behind type. Well, it's self-propelled. Uh, gives you more capacity. We do have a pole type that has as much capacity, but the self-propelled is quicker opening up the fields sure. uh, and on the headlands. Right, and the operation is right in front of you too, so it's a little yeah. easier for the uh, operator. Less operator sure. fatigue. Yep. So it package, or bundles up the bales at the end. How many are in a bundle and how is that stack? There's 21 bales in a bundle and two bundles high fits perfect in the van trailer. You okay. can get 756 bales in a trailer. Sure. And the bundles are also sized, they're a little under three foot wide, so three high is the same, tip, three high tipped over is the same as two high sure. upright. Okay. So it gives you more of a versatility in the stacking sure. and handling. Okay. How fast will it go in the field and on the road? It has a 30 mile an hour road speed and 12 mile an hour in the field. Okay. And it's four-wheel drive too. And it's four-wheel drive. Right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So now we're going to hear from a owner who's here in the booth. We'll have a testimonial from him. Andy has owned a Bale Baron for a little over a year now. Tell us a little bit about your experience owning and operating one, please. Sure. Owning the self-propelled this last year has been a big help to our operation. We started with the pull top back sure. in 2008. Um, that was a good unit for us. And then went to the pickup unit, first one that picks the bells up off the ground. But mm -hmm. last year we went to the self-propelled, probably the biggest thing we gained was efficiency in the field, you know, cleaning up the bells in the corners, um, being able to transport the units uh, quickly between between fields and uh, just having it all all in one unit. It's been a good deal for our operation. Right. So the bale baron will keep up to two or three balers in the field at one time. Do you normally have multiple balers in your fields? Yes, usually have two to three Okay. Um, in straw when two balers are running real good. Um, that, that's worked good, but we have had three bailers run in front of it a lot okay. of days. About how many acres do you do? Uh, about 800 acres of rye. Very good. In what state? Where are you at? We are in East Tennessee, below Knoxville. Very good. Marcus Manufacturing is also excited to release their Swing Max. This is a great innovation for the hay farmers. Mark, will you tell me a little bit about how your Swing Max works? Yeah, the Swing Max will pull two bailers with one tractor. Okay. Eliminate one man and one tractor. So how does that work with the hydraulic and the PTO hookup? You just hook, the, drop the pin and hook the PTO up and go. Okay. How about transportation? When they're no longer in the field and they want to go back to their farm? It's hydraulically adjustable in the field and, and then you can just swing it into in line okay. to go down the road. And I understand this comes in different widths, is that correct? What's the range? Yeah. Yeah, we make them from 20 feet to 42 feet. Okay, very good. This is a great innovation. Mark, thank you for making it available to the farmers.